my name is Julie Bencosme, and I am a dental hygienist residing here in the state of New Jersey. I am currently the president of the New York chapter of the Hispanic Dental Association and inductee of the Faces of HDA program. Welcome to Café Conversaciones con Carras de HDA. Today's interview is with our new inductee into the Faces of HDA program. I am excited to present student member of HDA, Estela Gomez Licea. Welcome, Estela. Thank you, Julie, for having me. I'm currently um, a fourth year dental student here at University of Washington School of Dentistry. I'm the president of our student chapter here in Washington State, um, the only dental school. I was born in La Placita, Michoacán, but raised in a small village called La Barranca del Potrero, Michoacán. And I stayed there until the age of nine, at which point my family decided to migrate to Washington State. And I am the eldest of five siblings and the mother of a wonderful and energetic five-year-old boy and married to an amazingly supportive husband. Wow. My parents also migrated to the United States as a child. I see we have many things in common. I also have a son. We're Latinas and we're members of HDA. Um, it seems that this unique experience has really brought us together. Now tell us about your road to becoming a dentist. What really inspired you to go into dentistry? So I initially became interested in dentistry after observing so much need in my own family. So they had oral disease and couldn't obtain the care that they needed at that point in time. And at that time I was also working in a vineyard. So I watched many of the farm laborers in my community lack access to healthcare, particularly oral healthcare. So I initially decided to pursue a career in dental hygiene. Uh, but during one particular session with my then anatomy and physiology professor, um, changed kind of the career path um, that I was on. I uh, was talking about how much I, you know, the things I wanted to do for my community, what I wanted to see changed. And he just turned around and looked at me. He's like, why don't you ever talk about yourself being the doctor or pursuing becoming the dentist? And I really didn't have a good answer for him. So I, you know, it's at a loss of words at that point in time, but I think it made me question myself and why I really didn't think about me having a potential to become a dentist. So I think at that point in time, um, something changed in me and I chose to continue my journey uh, to become a dentist. Uh, what a remarkable story. It seems that many times all we need is just one or two words for a, from a mentor to um, lead us towards the path that we take eventually. You are going to be graduating from dental school pretty soon. I am sure that you are very excited about this, um, finishing dental school. What is your favorite thing about dentistry? My favorite thing about dentistry is definitely the impact that we can have in the health of an entire family and the same way the impact that each patient can have in us i think every situation no matter how challenging or easy um, it may be for each one of us there's always something to be learned and there's always something to be thankful for having in that moment in life so that for me is kind of the epitome of being able to grow both on a personal and professional level. Congratulations on receiving, being the recipient of the Martin Luther King Community Service Award. Why is community service so important to you? Giving back to the Hispanic community is very important for me because I like to continue nourishing my commitment to the families in our community who need it most. Every time that I go back, every time that I'm on outreach, that I get to interact with the community, it gives me a sense of purpose and it grounds me to why it is that I'm in this field to begin with. Um, just something as simple as having a conversation with one of the patients and hearing what they're going through just um, enables me to understand what it is that I can do or how I can meet the families maybe halfway um, to get the care that they need most at that point in time. And 
I think the second part is leading interdisciplinary efforts for me keeps me motivated to search for ways in which that all healthcare can come together and provide for the families in our community. Wow, we're almost towards the end of our interview. But um, what words would you like to leave um, the audience with? Uh, individuals who are members of HDA, student members, or other individuals who are not member of our organization, what words would you like to leave them with? I say that during these times, I think it's especially hard um, to deem a lot of things possible to reach beyond what we think we can do. But I think we can all create change, no matter how we do it. I think it's just a matter of stepping out. So no matter what you want to do, we all must do something. So thank you, Estella, for your time and for what seems to be a very inspiring career ahead of you. Best wishes. To all our members, we look forward to seeing you again in our next episode of Café Conversaciones with Faces of HDA. For now, be well and be safe. Thank you. Thank you, Julie, so much for your time. Um, I appreciate being here. I would like to thank our Hispanic Dental Association for this recognition and for all that they do for the community, for uh, being an inspiration to me and kind of providing an outlet to, again, stay grounded to why I initially chose this career. So thank you. <laughs>